This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sub account. Now, a sub account is simply a way to post transactions more precisely by using subcategories for parent accounts. Now, let's take a look at exactly what that means. So, what I'm going to do is click on the chart of accounts icon from the QuickBooks homepage here. And here I have listed all of my accounts in the chart of accounts. Now these are the default accounts that were set up during the installation of QuickBooks Pro 2013. And one of the default accounts is insurance expense and its sub accounts, which are general liability insurance, health insurance, and life and disability insurance. Now the insurance expense is the parent account. And the rest of the insurance expenses are the sub accounts. Some companies may only have an account called insurance expense, and they'll allocate the various insurance expenses to the insurance expense account. But to get a more detailed and precise description, it's best to create sub accounts. So these default insurance expenses are some examples of a parent account and its sub accounts. So now we're going to create sub accounts of our own. Now there's another default account called utilities. And most companies have more than one type of utility to pay on a monthly basis. And it's usually water, electricity, or gas. So now I'm going to create those sub accounts for the parent account utilities. And to do that, click on the account button here and click new. Or you can right click on the account and then click new. Now the type of sub account that we are going to create is an expense account. So click expense and then click continue. Now we need to add the information for the sub account. Now going back to my chart of accounts, the account number for utilities is 68,600. So when I create the sub account, I want to use a number very close to that. So I'm going back to the add new account window and I'm going to type in the account number 68,610. Now enter in a name for the account and I'm just going to type in water. And here is the important part. Make sure you select sub account of and then choose the parent account, which in this case is going to be utilities. If you want to, you can also add a description. And when you're done, click Save and Close. Now we're back in the chart of accounts. And as you can see, water is listed and indented under Utilities. And that's another way of knowing that you have created a sub-account because they will be indented under the parent account. So let's create one more sub-account. Once again, we are creating an expense sub-account. My account number for this one is going to be 68,620. And this is going to be for the electric bill. Now it's going to be a sub account of utilities. Instead of choosing from the drop down box, I'm going to type in utilities. You can add a description if you choose to, and when you're done, click save and close. Now I've got two types of sub accounts added to my chart of accounts. Now, as a reminder, please use the search field on the website if you want to search for particular topics that you're interested in learning about because there are a lot of tutorials on the website. And that is how you create sub accounts in QuickBooks Pro 2013. If you have any questions, please send me an email. This is James Fox and I'll see you next time.